Social media is a difficult game to play. Not only do we need to brainstorm for new ideas, we also have to learn how to write content that's optimized for shareability on each platform. And because I got sick and tired of spending 25 hours a day running my socials and for my clients, I decided to use an AI agent to do my social media for me. And in this video, I'll show you how I did it so you can get more likes and shares on your social media posts and attract more customers for your business. Most small business owners don't know this, but but there's an easy way to simplify your social media strategy with ChatGPT. Let's be honest, social media can feel like a full-time job, but when you get specific about your niche, it's like having a secret weapon. ChatGPT can help you develop a content pillar strategy where you focus on a few key topics that matter most to your audience. Think of it this way, instead of trying to cover everything, focus on a few key topics that your business excels at. This makes satisfying your audience easier because you're delivering exactly what they want. Here's a prompt that I've used for my business and my clients that you can use as well. Develop a content pillar strategy with topic clusters for my remote live production agency. Pillar content will be used to attract new clients interested in live streaming but don't have the headcount to execute. Subtopics should be about the benefits of live streaming to increase sales, the benefits of hiring a live streaming expert, suggest other subtopics that can be interlinked to enhance SEO and establish my company, Lights Camera Live, as an authority in this space. In just a few seconds, ChatGPT already created the content pillars for my business. So the first one is the ultimate guide to professional live streaming for businesses. And the topic clusters around that would be benefits of live streaming to increase sales. It gave me four subtopics that I could hit the ground running with. Another one of benefits of hiring a live streaming expert. Four subtopics to go off of that. Like this is absolutely amazing for me to hit the ground running to start creating that long form content. By using this strategy, you're not only making content creation easier, but you're also building authority in your niche and boosting your SEO. It's a win-win. Now that you've got your content, content pillar setup, let's talk about the magic of filming long form content. So you might be asking yourself, why is this so important? Well, filming long form content is like creating a treasure chest of material that you can repurpose into multiple pieces of content. Imagine shooting one 10 minute video and then breaking it down into five, 10, or even 15 shorter clips for social media. That's a huge time saver, right? So here's the deal. Filming long form content allows you to maximize your output while minimizing your effort. Instead of constant brainstorming and recording new content, you can focus on creating one high quality video that covers your key topics in depth. Then with a few simple edits, you've got a whole suite of content to post across different platforms. This approach not only saves you time and energy, but also helps you maintain a consistent presence on social media, which is absolutely crucial for building your brand. One of my favorite custom GPTs to use for scripting videos is Osa.ai's Storytelling Scriptwriter. Even though it's designed for short form videos, I'll keep prompting ChatGPT to add additional sections just to make the script a little bit longer. Here is the storytelling script writer by osa.ai. From here, I just click on this button and now it's asking me to tell it a little bit about myself. So for example, am I a faceless content creator, entrepreneur, educator, or something else? In this case, I'm gonna let them know that I am a content marketer. Great, as a content marketer, what's the topic you'd like the script to be about? You can provide a topic, a paragraph, or even a list of key points that you'd like to cover. So in this case, I want to promote my blog post, which is what is content content marketing, top of funnel, middle of funnel, bottom of funnel, what kind of content should I create at each stage? Next, osa.ai wants to know who my target audience is. So my target audience is small businesses struggling to attract clients with content marketing. Next, I have to share what I want my tone of voice to be. So oftentimes when I'm writing things for social media, it's always gonna be conversational and fun. Here, I am asked what type of hook do I want to use in my video? So there's the hypothetical hook, which is imagine if your content could do the heavy lifting for your business or problem solving, struggling to attract clients with your content. Here's why it might not be working or three, an eye opening hook. Most businesses don't know this, but the key to effective content marketing is dot, dot, dot. So of these three, the one that I would like to work with would be one. So I just type in one. Now Osa is asking if I want to include a call to action at the end of my script. And I usually like to say, follow for more tips. And here you go, osa.ai is giving me three different script variations that I can use for my short form video. So of these three, the first one says, imagine if your content could do the heavy lifting for your business. What if I told you it can? 
one, content marketing isn't just about posting on social media. It's a strategy to guide potential clients from discovering your brand to becoming loyal customers. At the top of the funnel, focus on awareness, blog posts, social media updates, and videos that grab attention. As you move to the middle of the funnel, so on and so forth. I think that's a pretty good one right there, but let's see what they have to say for the second one. The second one is, imagine if the right content could turn your business into a client magnet. Sounds too good to be true? Content marketing is a secret sauce that moves potential customers from who are you to take my money. At the top of the funnel, it's all about grabbing attention with blog posts, social media, and videos that spark curiosity. Move to the middle and now you're educating through eBooks, webinars, and in-depth guides. Honestly, I really like the sound and the flow of that, but let's also see what script number three has to say. Imagine your content working overtime to bring in clients while you focus on what you do best. Dream scenario, right? Content marketing is more than just creating posts. It's about strategically guiding potential customers through a journey. Start at the top of the funnel with awareness, blog posts, social media content, and videos that draw people in. Move them to the middle with educational content like eBooks, case studies, and webinars. Finally, close the deal. Honestly, I really like that one, but if I were to choose just straight off the bat, it would be script number one. I like script number one. Can you expand on the script to make it a three minute video? So now Osa is gonna give me an expanded version and you could see like it's gonna go into a little bit more detail about top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, and finally bottom of the funnel. So now that Osa.ai already gave me three script ideas, I can go ahead and batch record that content using Ecamm and my Elgato prompter. Now that I have my long form content recorded, it's time to repurpose it using Cast Magic. With the scripts that osa.ai gave me, I launched a live stream to engage with my audience in real time. And now that it's done, I'm gonna head on over to Cast Magic and get it transcribed. So in order to do that, I click on import audio or video. From here, it's as easy as copy and pasting the URL and then waiting for Cast Magic to transcribe the video. Now we're all set and ready to hit the ground running. So I'll jump in here and the first thing that I always have to do is to identify the speakers. And since this live stream was just me speaking the entire time, that's gonna be easy enough to do. I'm just gonna scroll down here, put in my name. And now that Cast Magic knows who the main speaker is, I click on AI content and Cast Magic is going to start generating content that I can use for social media. When it comes to Cast Magic, there are different profiles that you can select from. And the one that I mostly use is the one titled YouTube. The reason for that is because there are so many different prompts that are in here that applies to what it is that I need to do in order to repurpose my content. So for example, if I wanna get updated titles, YouTube description. If I want Cast Magic to find specific quotes that I could repurpose for social, I absolutely can. You also get key topics and bullets, questions, YouTube keywords. As you can see, after a couple of seconds, I get all the content that I need in order to repurpose the content in here. One of my favorite features in here is the email newsletter. It's just so easy for me to copy and paste this into my email service provider and start letting my audience know that they could dive into my content a little bit deeper, whether it's at the top, the middle, or the bottom of the funnel. When it comes to repurposing content on social media, there are four types of posts that I like to create. First, I wanna generate awareness with my audience. I wanna give them a couple of tips. I wanna drive engagement, but more importantly, I wanna get to that sale. So one of the custom prompts that I put on here is titled awareness. Now the prompt for awareness is this, create four awareness posts that pique the ideal audience interest around a relevant problem or topic. So in this case, the content example is, networking events are overrated. You'll make more meaningful connections by sliding into someone's DMs agree or disagree. So that's more like, what do you think? Let's get this conversation started. Or let's say summer socials are just an excuse for people to get wasted and embarrass themselves. Agree or disagree. Again, these are like conversation starters to kind of break the ice. So now that I've actually already added this in here, let's see how this looked like for when I submitted the video for what is content marketing. So I'll click on over to AI content, scroll to the very bottom, and this is what Cast Magic suggested based off of the prompt that I gave it. So the awareness content is, Posting 100 videos is an exercise in fertility if you miss the mark on strategy. Quality over quantity every time. Agree or disagree? Or how about this one? Tech events are just glorified networking parties. Real impact happens in webinars and case studies. What are your thoughts? Or how about this one? Most editorial calendars are just pretty plans with zero execution. Real content marketing goes beyond scheduling. Agree or disagree? I really like that one, so I'd probably use that when I post on social media. Another custom prompt that I like to add to Cast Magic is creating a LinkedIn poll 
based off of the video that I just created. So in this case, here's the prompt that I added to my Cast Magic profile. Suggest a LinkedIn poll that I can use to promote this content. Here's the LinkedIn poll that Cast Magic suggested. What's the most challenging stage of your content marketing funnel? Option one, top of the funnel, building brand awareness and attracting attention. Two, middle of the funnel, educating prospects and building engagement. Or three, bottom of the funnel, driving conversions and closing sales. I also love the fact that Cast Magic gives me a caption that I could automatically copy and paste when posting to LinkedIn. So the description says, understanding the challenges at each stage of the content marketing funnel is crucial for effective strategy planning. It's pretty straightforward, but honestly, if I wanted to make this a little bit more conversational, I could just copy and paste this, head on over to Magic Chat and say, can you rewrite this section to be more conversational and fun? Copy paste. And let's see what Cast Magic comes up for me. It says, hey there, awesome marketers. Let's chat about the wild ride that is the content marketing funnel. Are you finding it tough to get your brand noticed? Or maybe your prospects need a little bit more love before they convert. Honestly, I feel like that's more me, a little bit more just like, hey, what are your thoughts about this? Not so like professional, but a lot more fun in that sense. And that is how I use AI agents to do my social media for me. If you wanna test out Cast Magic, click the link in the description for a seven day free trial to automate all of your social media content. Also, click on this video to learn five social media tools that have gotten my business more customers than I'd ever imagined. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.